on board for our first Days in Our Lives video. This is going to be a series of videos that focuses on Syracuse Public Library's biography collection and nonfiction collection, particularly older ones that you might have missed when they came out. And today's video is definitely going to take a oceans theme as we focus on Into the Deep by Robert Ballard, known as the man who discovered the Titanic. Ballard had actually been on a Navy mission where he was using Argo to try and find some missing submarines that the Navy wanted to find. And he was given the possibility that if he had time and the funding was still available, that he could use any remaining time to search for the wreck of the Titanic. He had good fortune on September 1st, 1985, when they started to notice discrepancies on the ocean seafloor. And then they even then found one of the boilers. On September 2nd, 1985, they were able to do a detailed targeted scan using Argo and they found the wreck. And Dr. Ballard has been very famous after that. However, as he notes in his memoir, there is so much more to his career than finding the Titanic. Discovering the Titanic was an experience of a lifetime, an accomplishment I'm proud of, to be sure, but there's so much more to my story. Discovering new life forms that rewrote our definition of life on Earth, possibly on other planets. Finding other sunken vessels, Lusitania, Bismarck, Yorktown, PT-109, and answering questions that lingered about their fate and those who perished with them. Tracing ancient trade routes in the Mediterranean and the Black Sea, pulling up precious Roman, Greek, and Philistine artifacts, and confirming hypotheses about a great flood in biblical times. Developing robots that can roam the ocean floor 24 seven, sending video back up to the surface with views better than any we might have been able to get by diving in submersibles. He had a life full of adventures and his memoir highlights these adventures that he has had in the discoveries he has made through his long career. And I cannot recommend this biography enough. Like just reading the segments, he has a very wonderful writing voice and it feels very personal and you just become enraptured, especially when he's describing those days in September when they came across the Titanic and just like their reactions to having found it and how they didn't quite know what to expect and they were concerned that Argo might get caught up in some of the wires. But of course, when the Titanic went down, the funnels were ripped off and those wires were like no longer there. And then the being able to confirm what some survivors had said as far as the ship breaking apart. So I highly recommend starting with Dr. Ballard's book. And if after you read his accounts, you really want to know more about like the Titanic or some of the other wrecks that he's talked about, visit our nonfiction section. We have this wonderful oversized book, which will be in the oversized section. This one not only covers Titanic, but also its sister ships, the Olympic and Britannic. The Britannic was sunk in World War I where it was serving as a hospital ship. It hit a mine. And unfortunately, where it hit was pretty close to like the impact that the iceberg had on the Titanic. And so it went down even though like land was in sight and the captain was trying to rush to it but that actually ended up making the situation a little worse and it sunk a lot faster than the Titanic. Then a classic Titanic history book that we have is A Night to Remember by Walter Lord. This has been like the go-to for Titanic buffs for many, many years. I highly recommend this one. And then we have The Ship of Dreams, The Sinking of the Titanic, and The End of the Edwardian Era. And this one is by Gareth Russell. 
and I haven't read this one, so I can't quite say. And then a brand new one that we have is Sinkable, Obsession, the Deep Sea, and the Shipwreck of the Titanic. And this one is written by Daniel Stone. It's on my to read list currently. And for another shipwreck that Dr. Ballard had discovered, we have Dead Wake by Eric Larson, which is about the sinking of the Lusitania. I am listening to the audiobook of this via Libby, and it has been super good. It kind of covers the history of the ship and some of the tensions that were going on at the time during like the Great War. And while this is not related to Dr. Ballard, but if you are interested in shipwrecks, I recommend Out of the Depths, an unforgettable World War II story of survival, courage, and the sinking of the USS Indianapolis. And of course, being in Indiana, having that tie. But I hope you'll give some of these nonfiction and the Robert Ballard biography a chance. They're all very interesting reads. So if you love history, you love sh naval history, you love shipwrecks, definitely pick them up.